Hello friends, this is Shashikant. Today I'm gonna visit and give you some information on Devgiri Fort, which is in the outskirts of Aurangabad and is on the Aurangabad Elora National Highway. Daulatabad is located at the distance of 15 km from Aurangabad city of Maharashtra. This fort, which was once known as Devgiri, is a magnificent 12th century fortress standing atop a hill. Daulatabad, which is constructed with excellent architecture in one of the few invincible forts in Maharashtra. This is a unique fort in India which is frequently visited by tourists from all around the globe. Devgiri is a must-visit spot for architecture and history lovers. With seven lines of defense, Devgiri is arguably one of the strongest and impressively built forts in the world. Now let's dig deep into the history of Daulatabad. Daulatabad or the Abode of Wealth was a name given by Muhammad bin Tughlaq when he made his capital here in AD 1327. Ancient name being Devgiri meaning Hill of Gods under the Yadavas of Devgiri. Dilama V who was one of the powerful Yadava rulers founded the city of Devgiri and shifted his capital here. Alauddin Khilji invaded and captured Devgiri in AD 1296 and seeing its impregnable fort shifted the capital from Delhi in AD 1328. This led to serious repercussion and he had to again transfer the capital back to Delhi. The region and the fort passed on into the hands of Bahamani rulers under Hassan Gangu in AD 1347 and Nizam Shahis of Ahmednagar in AD 1499. Daulatabad became the capital of Nizam Shah dynasty in 1607 AD. Now let's talk about things to see in and around. Chini Mahal marks the entrance of the Daulatabad fort. Chini Mahal is a double-storied castle situated inside the Daulatabad fort complex. Chini Mahal served as a royal prison and held many of the royal captives of Emperor Aurangzeb. Chini Mahal once was a beautiful mansion and was inlaid with glazed blue and white enameled tiles. The last of the Qutb Shah kings of Golconda, Abdul Hassan Tana Shah, and the last Sultan of Bijapur, Sikandar, were held as captives by the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb here. Chand Minar stand tall at the entrance of the iconic Daulatabad food. This minaret was built in 1435 by Alauddin Bahamani to commemorate his victory over the fort. Later, it was used to keep an eye on the surrounding region. The height of the tower is 30 meters. It has 24 chambers spread over four floors and a small mosque. Here, one can visit a couple of other attractions like Hatti Haut, Bronze Cannon, Nagar Khana, and a drown bridge. If you are coming here by railway, Aurangabad is a major station to reach Devgiri Daulatabad Fort. The Devgiri Express regularly operates between Mumbai and Sikandrabad via Aurangabad, Maharashtra. The station is around 15 km away from the fort. Private vehicles are easily available outside the station to reach up to the fort. And Chikosana is a nearest airport which is having nice connectivity to all major cities in India. The distance between the airport and Devgiri Daulatabad Fort is 22 km. Now we are going to talk about the best time to visit here. One can visit Devgiri Daulatabad Fort all year round. However, the period between monsoon and winter season, July to February, remains soothing to visit this fort.